Pilot Alexander. Hey Karim. How are you doing today? I'm good. Hi everyone. I hope you're all doing well. Coming with the uh, aviation knowledge video, a quick one, and uh, outside to change a little bit. <laughs> to break the routine. <laughs> uh, absolutely. <laughs> and we are right now um, at uh, Doha, at the Pearl. It's a man-made island. Uh, so basically under us uh, there is water. 100% <laughs> uh, artificial. Absolutely, and it's beautiful. You can show them maybe uh, just uh, around with that takeoff over there. The airport is right in front of you right now. So great, great Lovely. place to be. Okay, regarding the post you have published on your Instagram feed a few days ago about the Boeing 747 taking off or landing, that was your question. So from a pilot perspective, what do you think that maneuver was? Was it a takeoff or was it a landing? And please tell us why do you think so? Uh, it's not that I think because I was there. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I know, okay. but uh, what about you? What do you think? Well, for me, it's obvious it was a takeoff. A takeoff, obviously, why? Well, I would say, first of all, there were no thrust reversers, no spoilers were deployed. Uh, and I think the landing lights were off and basically one of the catchy things I couldn't see smoke so we know when the uh, main wheel touch down mm -hmm. because of the friction of the rubber with the concrete it creates some smoke Absolutely. and none of it was there in the picture so, so you, you, you mentioned a few things that uh, the, the followers have mentioned as well uh, in the comments okay. and they said no smoke, um, no reverses, no spoilers, no landing light so certainly it is a takeoff. Some others, they said, no, it's a landing uh, for a few other reasons, uh, which are approximately the same, if I, if I remember. Um, well, basically, from my perspective, if I, if, I, if I wasn't there, if I didn't see that live, I cannot tell. Okay. I cannot tell. Why? First of all, you spoke about, uh, you, you spoke about smoke, right? Yes but the smoke happens only at touchdown when the wheel uh, touches the ground and the, uh, the rubber touches the concrete. There it creates smoke, but the smoke doesn't stay throughout the, the landing phase, at right. least on the runway, right? This is one. Second of all, you say no reverses. Why, should we have reverses for landing? Well, it's... Uh an extra precaution, I think, I would assume, for every landing we use thrust reverses. It's not, it's not precaution, it's, it's performance space. Okay. So uh, when we calculate the performance, we calculate the performance for no reverses. So this runway here, it was uh, 09 right, I guess, in London, Heathrow. Uh, it's approximately 4,000 meters or maybe a little bit more. Okay. 4,000 meters, four kilometers of runway. And we, um, we put the, in the system that we are going to land with that, these conditions of the day, with that wind and with uh, this weight. And we say with no reverses. Okay. Why? Because if the system tells us, yes, you can do it, imagine what we can do with reverses. Okay. So if we can do it, let's say, out of four, four kilometers, we can do it on three kilometers with no reverses. Imagine we add reverses idle will make it even shorter absolutely and ever uh, full reverses what's gonna happen even shorter even shorter than this so basically we can land without reverses okay we can legally we are covered by uh, the performance calculation performance calculation is telling us yes we can we can okay. now spoilers do we need spoilers to land it's, what do you think well it's not a must uh -huh. of course aircraft can land like we just discussed earlier no no wait no no spoilers Yes, you can. Spoilers, I don't know for Boeing, to be honest. Let's Let damper is another name for the people who are uh, asking what's the uh, spoilers. They are lift dampers. Okay, so so the yes, and they are in, in flight, they are speed brakes. Yes. Uh, and also they increase the, the rate of descent. This is how we use them in flight. So either reduce speed or increase the rate of descent, sometimes both at the same time. Uh, look, I don't know for Boeing. But I know uh, for Airbus that let's imagine you have one side with a spoiler um, in up. Will you take a chance and activate the other side? Absolutely not. Ah, you will have an uh, asymmetry, yeah. right? So I would land without, uh, without spoilers. It is possible. Okay. So look here, we have, 
we spoke about smoke, we don't necessarily have smoke throughout the landing phase. We don't have reverses, which is possible, mm -hmm. and we don't have spoilers, they might be in up. Now we spoke about landing lights as well, okay. right? Um, okay, it's, it's quite strange. Again, I don't know the procedure for the 747. I don't know the NOP, uh, and I don't know British Airways procedures as well. So maybe they don't put, I don't know. Um, for us on, on 380, we, we put landing light on uh, for takeoff and landing up to 10,000 feet. And from 10,000 feet down uh, to the ground, we always put the landing light on. So yes, it is not on there, but I don't know, to be honest. Okay. okay, now, how about the flaps? Because it's clearly shown in the aircraft, is that low flap setting? Absolutely. Uh, we can see the equivalent of flaps one for Airbus. I don't know, for Boeing, maybe flaps five degrees or 10 degrees. I don't know how they, they use it, but uh, Airbus is flaps one, okay. usually for takeoff. Um, Sometimes we take off flaps too, by the way, mm -hmm. because we need to shorten the takeoff run, the take -off run and uh, we don't need, let's say, to uh, increase the uh, rate of climb. Okay. So now, does having these uh, flaps or the setting of flaps one means that it's a takeoff? Could be a landing. Can it be a landing? Well, yes, it can. Have the flaps jam. Or Flaps. Absolutely. Now you take off and you have uh, flaps jam. What do you do? What do you do? First thing, select the speed. Select the speed. It's important to maintain low speed in order not to bust yeah. the, um, the speed. absolutely the next flap speed. So this is what you're gonna do, and you maintain your speed and you maintain your flaps. What it is, you go. Uh, whatever you have to hold and you you will do your procedure for example damp the fuel whatever and come back and land with flaps one so again again <laughs> I'm sorry guys again the flaps that we see the low flaps that we see or flaps one plus F anyway that we see right now they are not they are not a proof of a takeoff okay they're not uh, it could be both it could be both so yeah it's great <laughs> either are correct it could be a landing and it could be a takeoff. <laughs> the truth is, it is a takeoff. It is a takeoff. But none of the arguments that you guys with Karim here provided can prove that it is a, uh, a takeoff. Okay. It's quite, quite interesting. That's why I posted that photo. Because well, it was I, interesting, yeah. I, yeah, I felt it was, it, yeah, it, was, it was nice. <laughs> uh, now, there are some other things. Some people told me, for example, yeah, but they are too far in the runway. So they, they already passed, I don't know, maybe uh, 3,000, 6,000 uh, feet. Uh, maybe, maybe, I can't remember exactly where it was, but uh, but uh, also that doesn't say anything. doesn't say anything. All right. Yeah, it's that quite was interesting. It is, it is quite Thank cool. Thank you for explaining and clearing out the doubts. Thanks, Karim. And Thank you, everyone. And uh, no worries, just be patient and uh, you'll see me in the air very soon. <laughs> no Have a good day and thank, Thank you. you very much. Cheers, guys. Thank you.